Welcome back everyone underneath Florida's coastal waters. There are countless historical shipwrecks and today many of them are fruitful fish habitats and attractive dive sites and of course tourist attractions. Oh yeah, we love that. So now there's this new effort underway to create 3D models of those shipwrecks and the other artificial reefs in order to showcase them to the entire world. Wow, this is the Rio Miami in 3D. An exact model of the old tugboat scuttled in the water off Key Biscayne in 1989. Upright and intact, this now artificial reef is listing at approximately 45 degrees in 75 feet of water. We know this because divers went into the water here on Wednesday of this week and by Thursday gave us this to examine and enjoy. Peter McDougall is with Reef Smart Guides, based in Toronto. He and his team came to South Florida to work with the Miami-Dade Reef Guard Foundation. Miami divers know exactly how awesome their diving is, but few outside of the area are aware of just the incredible number of shipwrecks that are in these Miami waters. So the mission is to show and sell the world on what's below, to make our waters even more of a tourist attraction than they already are. Nick Morell is the co-founder of the Reef Guard Foundation. We've got ships, uh, we've got tugs, we've got barges, we've got even got a 737 aeroplane, we've got some army tanks. We've got a wide range of wrecks turned into artificial reefs that should be attractive to divers from around the world. More than 100 in the waters off of Miami-Dade County alone. And these models give people who love the ocean and those who would rather stay on dry land a first look at the ever-changing environment down below. We want divers to know exactly what they're diving on when they get in and they can review our models and see and plan their dive accordingly. But it's also really important to help connect the general public to the, to the ocean. And so to help them see and understand this is what's under the water. The artificial reefs, they provide fish habitat where there wasn't any before, it was just sand. Um, and they also provide a diver diversion. So divers, if there were no artificial reefs, they would dive the whole time on our natural coral reef. And that produces quite a lot of diving pressure. In other words, that would not be good for the health of the natural reef. McDougal and his divers shot enough video and processed enough data to create models for nine artificial reefs. A beginning. The process can be really easy and straightforward. Or much more complicated. This is a first look at the Proteus, a 220-foot steel hulled freighter sunk off the coast of Key Biscayne in 1985. McDougal said making a model of this one will take some time. And before leaving, he taught Morrell and members of his foundation how to do this on their own. As I say, more than a hundred artificial reefs to do, so we're not gonna run out of stuff very quickly, are we? No, we are not, because currently there's no timetable to get the mapping of the shipwrecks and the artificial reefs done. But the good news is that the Reef Guard Foundation knows exactly where they are, so all they have to do is shoot the video, send it to the Reef Smart Guides, and then in a matter of days, they'll have everything they need that, that looks, looks just so like awesome, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm.